All right. Well, welcome back. You're seeing things from a different view, and potentially not in as good a light. I do apologize. What you see is a built printer. Um, is it complete? Mm, close enough for the time being. There are a few more parts that I need to put on them. Again, the little teardrop shapey things that go up on uh, on top of the the smooth rods for the Z axis. But it's there. Um, certainly not finished yet. Um, still working out some bugs. Anyway, I'll uh, I'll kind of show you where it's at right now, and we'll go from there. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it's it's getting there, making progress. Now certainly isn't the time to tell you, but I better at least get it on video anyway. Side note, and no, I did not fry my power supply, even though some people have. When you get the power supply, it has two voltages, two 240 and 120, or 240, 110, 220, 110, there we go. Uh, in here, you can kind of see that little black rectangle out of there. Before you even mount this thing, make sure you set it to the right voltage. Here in America, it'd be 110. Um, do the wrong thing, it's probably just going to blow up, and then you have to buy another one. And if I'm not mistaken, when I did do the pricing for all of this, that was the most expensive part of this whole thing. So, yeah. Um, the heated bed is in. I decided to mount it upside down and backwards, because that sounds like fun, right? No, the idea was I wanted my cables coming at the back end, um, and uh, the upside down reasoning for that was because uh, it was a smoother surface to mount the glass on. The uh, the blue outline that you see here with the green on top, that's a piece of glass. Um, green's just painter's tape, as is the blue. Green's just whiter. Um, got binder clips holding it on. Yay. You can probably see this little fan spinning. I did have to wire that up. That was one annoying thing. This came with about this long of a lead on it with a uh, connector, just like a computer fan. has the yellow cable. That would be your RPM sensor, but I don't believe the uh, the ramps kit comes with an RPM sensor, so it's just cut off and hanging out in the uh, loom here. This is that coily Q, or yeah, curly Q loom that I was talking about. It's just a big spiral. Certainly cleans things up nice. Um, over here at the edge, though, it uh, does get a little thick. I'm going to have to do a little bit of tidying up a little bit more, um, get my cables a little straighter. I do have some spaghetti still back here, but I'll clean that up once I test everything. Um, speaking of testing and things, I'm still in that phase. Um, first thing I should say when you turn this printer on its current location when it's turned on is what it thinks is zero 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 that said it's not necessarily where it thinks home is at least this is what I've experienced so far so for testing purposes what I'm doing right now I have positioned it here in zero 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 basically the heated, uh, the hot end is practically touching the the glass plate right here on the corner. It'd be zero, zero, zero. So three axes coming together all at one point, zero, zero, zero. Uh, from here, I can go in three directions, which is really satisfying. But if I click the home button, which I'm not going to do right yet, this thing goes all over the place. Uh, I would have thought that it would have like zeroed itself out using the end stops because I thought that's kind of what they were for. Uh, or at least the end stops are there to say, stop moving, you've gone too far. It doesn't seem to do that. If I hit home, it just kind of powers through everything, runs the bed all the way to the end and just keeps going, um, mashes my end stuff all the way into uh, my y axis and then it will also push down my other end stop. Uh, it will push it down to the point where uh, the uh, extruder head would just sit on the uh, on the heated bed. So that's bad. So I'm not going to do that. I do, or I can see one of my limits, which is is engaged. 
which is fine. Not too concerned about it. I, these ones do light up. These mechanical end switches do light up, which is kind of cool. So, um, what else? What else? Uh, there's a thermistor on the heated bed. So, I'm using Ponterface software, and it's reporting that the bed is at approximately 25 degrees Celsius. That's cool. These little white wires here, next to these big red ones. I think you can see them. Yeah, sure. Uh, those are the thermistor for the hot end. It's not on right now, that's why I can touch it. Don't do this if it's hot. But the good news is that I can see both it and the heated bed are at 25 degrees Celsius, which I would make them room temperature. Hey, hey look at that. Um, so I'm going to fire both of these up. Actually, I'm going to move it up first a little bit, then I'll demonstrate a little more. Um, so you have three kind of axi buttons in Ponterface, or Print Run, one of the same, that's what I'm using. Indeed, you can... Um, oops. My end stop is not letting me go up. There we go. There we go. So you can see my Z axis is working. Um, and they can go up in three different increments. Oh, that's interesting. Interesting, interesting. Uh, I noticed there was some lag in this video on this stepper motor. It is not hot, so I will maybe give it a little bit more power. Let's try that. Of course, I've now ruined my my uh, leveling, but that's I can do that when the power is off and manually twist one of these to get it back to level. No big deal. Uh, so again, that's working, which is great. So that's Z. Um, let's do Y. May not work backwards. It is working. You can hear that it's got some noise to it, though. I'm not thrilled about it. I'm just clicking, clicking along. Oops, this one's letting me go a little further than I want. Um, at the moment, for testing purposes, I have disabled uh, in the code the line that prevents you from going past where z zeros are. So I can go further and I can intentionally mash into my unstops if I want to. So just if you do disable that or uncomment out that line, just be aware of what button you're clicking. The worst thing that could be happen is if you ran your uh, heated end stop into your piece of glass and break it, that'd be bad. Um, let's see, let's do the X axis. Really happy with the way the X axis is working. Uh, Yeah, that, that's pretty darn smooth. Relatively quiet for a stepper motor and all that, so... I'll hit my end stop. Um, talk to a friend of mine, because I'm trying to sort out the, uh, the homing issue. He recommended setting all of your end stops on the minimums. Always had my Z axis on the minimum, again trying to prevent the hot end from going into the uh, uh, into the glass plate, but he also recommended setting it up on the uh, X and Y, so 
I might end up having to move the uh, the Y axis on this side, which also would require me to take it out of this loom. We'll see. Um, I don't really want to do that just because that's a long run of cable, but if I do, I do. Um, so these little red glowy lights that you might see, what's uh, what's that? What's happening there is my heat bed is heating up, as is my hot end. Just going to demonstrate real fast that uh, those portions are working too. I can see in the video, in the video, in the software, the um, the temperature is rising on both. I can feel it getting getting warmer. It's getting there. For the PLA plastic that I have, I'm heating the bed up to um, 60 degrees centigrade. And then the hot end going uh, 200 degrees centigrade. So I certainly don't want to touch that. Um, heat bed's almost there. It heats up pretty quick. Um, wait for the extruder really fast. Then I'll uh, extrude it. While I do that, I might as well. Um, Let's go to the middle, why not? That sounds like fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've made it to the middle. Um, fans on the extruder. I think everything's good. Let's spit out some plastic. Or not. What's going on here? It did work. Let's try it again. Now it's trying. I think the extruder got hot, but I'm assuming that the plastic inside still needs to warm up a bit. Because it's starting to ooze out now. There we are. There you can see it. I'm making spaghetti. I think I can only do one command at a time in this mode. But you can see that the extruder's working. The heated bed feels warm to the touch, and if we're close to 100 degrees body temperature, 20 degrees warmer would only feel warm, which would make sense. So, those are working. <laughs> oh, kind of goofy. Uh-oh. I'm stuck to my hot end. Get off of there. Get off. There. Don't need to make any more of a mess for myself. So, I'm having fun, but you can see that things are working, sort of. Uh, now to sort out some of the other problems with the homing. And then once I can home it, I can zero it, and print something. That's the next step. Looking forward to it. Alright guys, 